हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल वाइड लुक रोबोटिक एंड ऑटोमेशन दिस इज द सेकंड सेक्शन ऑफ माइक्रो वाइथन विद ई एस पी एट टू सिक्स सिक्स एंड ई एस पी थर्टी टू बोर्ड इन दिस सेक्शन यू विल गेट स्टार्टेड विद माइक्रो पाइथन फॉर्मवेयर ऑन द ई एस पी थर्टी टू एंड ई एस पी एट टू सिक्स सिक्स बोर्ड आई विल इंट्रोड्यूस यू टू माइक्रो पाइथन शो यू द डिफरेंस बिटवीन माइक्रो पाइथन एंड रेगुलर पाइथन एंड हाउ टू प्रोग्राम यूर ई एस पी बेस्ड बोर्ड with micro python using mucraft ide after completing this section you will have your first led blinking code using micro python what is micro python micro python is a reimplementation of python 3 programming language targeted for microcontrollers and embedded systems micro python is very similar to regular python therefore if you if you already know how to program in python You also know how to program in Micro Python. Python versus Micro Python. Apart from a few exceptions, the language features of Python are also available in Micro Python. The biggest difference between Python and Micro Python is that Micro Python was designed to work under constraint conditions. Because of that, Micro Python does not come with the full standard library. it include a small subset of python standard library however it does include modules to access low level hardware this means that there are libraries to easily access and interact with the gpios additionally devices with wifi compatibilities like the esp32 esp266 include modules to support network connections Why Micro Python? Micro Python is one of the most widely used, simple and easy to learn programming language around. So the emergence of Micro Python make it extremely easy and simple to program digital electronics. If you have never programmed digital electronics before, Micro Python is a good way to start. Micro Python's goal is to make programming digital electronics as simple as possible. so that anyone can use it currently micro python is used by hobbyists researchers teachers educators and even in commercial product this is led blinking code in micro python for esp32 or esp8266 as you can see this is too simple code as compared to another microcontrollers these are board which support to micro python programming language which is esp32 esp8266 pi board micro bit etc esp32 and esp8266 board are similar and you would not feel almost any difference programming those using micro python this means that anything you write for esp32 should also run with no changes or nominal changes on esp8266 limitations esp32 is a successor of ESP8266 so currently not all features are available in micro python to take the most out of the ESP32 it is still ongoing project however it is very usable and you can make all the presented project with it these are micro python ide you can use this ide to program your board new bycraft ide There are different programs you can use to program the ESP32 and ESP8266 board. To program the ESP32 or ESP8266 board with Micro Python firmware, I recommend using New Bycraft IDE because it is simple, intuitive to use and work great with the ESP board. However, if you are used to other Micro Python programming environment, you can stick with it. New Bycraft IDE run in any major operating system. I have instruction for installing New Bycraft IDE in Windows in your computer by following my next upcoming videos. Here is alternative IDE is Tony IDE. I have experimented with several IDEs to program the ESP32 and ESP8266 board using Micro Python. and newcraft id worked fine for us however some users reported some trouble using new bycraft ide 
so i provide an alternative ide to program your esp32 esp266 board with tony ide here is the main difference between mu pycraft ide and tony ide mu pycraft ide for micro python whereas tony ide is an ide for python with micro python support mu pycraft ide print all the debug information in the debugging windows which can be confusing tony ide has a layer on top that does not show all those errors so it's a bit more user friendly mu pycraft ide has more features dedicated to program esp8266 esp32 with micro python but it is harder to install on some linux computers tony ide is easier to install and com and compatible with all the operating system mu pycraft provides a better way to edit and delete files save on your board on the other hand tony ide has a built in features to upload file as boot.py main.py that feature make it easier and faster to upload new script so i hope you like this video so please do like comment and share and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon thanks for watching